The latest developments at Japan's Fukushima reactor have been described as unimaginable and unprecedented. Officials state that damages at the reactor are far worse than previously thought. Melted fuel has come in contact with underground water and melted core appears spread out over an extensive area. A gaping hole has been found under the containment vessel measuring 2 meters in diameter on a metal grating. Images captured using a camera attached to a telescopic arm on Monday also showed part of the grating has gone. A further analysis of the images also found a two-meter hole in an area beyond the missing section on the structure. Radiation levels at the Fukushima reactor have soared to their highest level since the 2011 disaster. The radiation levels inside the containment vessel of the number no. 2 reactor at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear complex stood at 530 sieverts per hour, the highest ever, the plant operator said on Thursday. Previously the highest radiation level monitored in the interior of the reactor was 73 sieverts per hour. The new radiation level, has been described by some experts as unimaginable. And it far exceeds 73 sieverts per hour, the previously highest radiation reading in the interior of the reactor. An official of the National Institute of Radiological Sciences said professionals have never even considered dealing with this level of radiation in their work. TEPCO said the blazing radiation reading was taken near the entrance area in the space just below the pressure vessel, which contains the reactor core. These are record high fatal radiation levels, according to the institute, just 4 sieverts of radiation exposure would kill 1 out of 2 people. Experts say 1,000 millisieverts, which equals 1 sievert, could lead to infertility, loss of hair and cataracts, while exposure to higher radiation doses increases the risk of cancer. Another truly unsettling revelation about the Fukushima problem came as a boss revealed that 600 tons of fuel melted, and they can't find it. One top official said, nobody really knows where the fuel is. We may never be able to get it and we'll have to just leave it wherever. Uncontrollable fission is continuing under the site. TEPCO in the past had hoped to remove the fuel debris as part of decommissioning work at the plant. The government and TEPCO previously had plans to locate the fuel and start removing it from a first reactor in 2021. They had thought that it would be possible to decommission the plant within the next 30 to 50 years an optimistic timeline according to many. These new developments make that inconceivable. With the reactor cores missing decommissioning the plant or any kind of containment becomes impossible. Radiation levels at Fukushima are so high that they are melting robot camera probes sent into the reactors. Approximately 400 tons of water flows into the reactor every day and approximately 300 tons of contaminated water flows out of it and into the ocean daily. TEPCO initially ignored requests to not allow the contaminated water to flow into the ocean. They did later build an ice wall around the reactors in an attempt to contain the flow, but that attempt failed as the ice wall melted. Several years ago they admitted to initially covering up the magnitude of the disaster and stated that their cover-up and refusal to acknowledge the meltdowns was regrettable. We can only imagine what they are not disclosing now. Their management of the disaster has been a disaster in and of itself. Cesium-137 is a product of nuclear fission. Prior to humans, there was no cesium-137 on Earth. Once we developed and detonated nuclear bombs, we introduced cesium-137 into the environment there are now detectable levels of cesium-137 in all of the world oceans. This is by far the worst nuclear disaster to ever occur on Earth. With no end in sight. Uncontrollable fissioning will continue for years to come. We have only just begun to see some of the effects on marine animals as the Pacific Ocean dies and our other oceans are contaminated. Mutant flowers and vegetables are now common in and around the Fukushima area. It will get worse as time goes on. Fukushima was an apocalypse. The beginning of the end. Not an instantaneous apocalypse, but one that will play out over a longer period of time. We can only hope that in the future some solution will appear.
Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like, comment and subscribe.